You've probably heard about this. Lots of uh, One Direction fans in Northern Ireland were left devastated last night after the band cancelled their concert at the last minute. Now, their management said it was because one member of the band, Liam, was ill. Now, my lovely husband has got himself into all sorts yeah, of trouble. Yeah, no. Well, not trouble, because you don't mess with the One Directioners, no, do you? No. Eamon, you should know that by now. But Eamon tweeted last night, because his daughter was there waiting mm. for this concert, and said, I don't care who was sick in One Direction. The rest of them should have had the decency <laughs> and maturity oh, to appear on the stage and express. Yeah. So, the One Directioners obviously don't agree with him. I can't read out some of the things they say. <laughs> but one says, Eamon Holmes, why is it that the fans are acting more mature about this than you and <gasps> you're, like, 50 years old? <laughs> His point is that you know, if all four of them had been sick, but yeah. one of them was sick, but why couldn't they go on before. as three of them and sing anyway? Yeah. I mean, no, I don't think it's made much difference. Yeah. 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 I just think it's a cop out, and I think it's really bad. Mm. And I think they should now apologize. And you know, they I know they're giving tickets, aren't they, or something? They're saying, well, they well they're really saying there. now they're rescheduling. Why couldn't one of you, three of you, go out and Two say we're really sorry? Or do a question and answer with yeah. the audience. So, Sit there Fair. Sorry, girls, you know, yeah. oh, we're all here. Why don't you ask us questions? Well, you know, we'll give you a Sherry, couple of hours of yeah. our time. You know, in your business, they have the show must go on. The show yeah. must go on, and that just proves don't mess with Eamon Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> I regret that because it's Twitter feed for about three I days. Know. I know. <laughs> I know. I've done... Have you ever had to go on when you've yes. been ill? Or... I, did, I stupidly agreed to do a television series where, well, it's a one off documentary where I said I learnt the recorder at school and I agreed for oh, television <laughs> to play the recorder again and I stupidly blabbed out that I would play. Look! Oh, I got pregnant in that photo! Look at your teacher's face. Oh. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Sonata at the Handel Museum in London. Oh I had to drink half a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc, lock myself in the loo and just get on with it. And were you any good? No. Oh, it was rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Have you ever had a moment where you, you know, going yeah, on to a lot of live sort TV? Of upset stomach moment where I thought an accident might happen. Luckily it didn't. And I still went still on. Went so on. no excuse to the 1D boys. It's awful. No. And what about the nerves? I, 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 did, I, nerves. I broke my leg. I was in a play at Midsummer, <laughs> Midsummer Night Stream. Broke my leg and I went on with crutches. Yeah. 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 Find it hard to be a judge, I imagine. If I they ever asked yeah. you to be a judge. Well, for years I keep getting asked about it, and um, this year it was kind of there was always chats and people talking. And I said, you know what? I couldn't do it. I don't think well, I could turn around. You know how I, I don't think I could turn around someone and say, no, mate. There rubbish. must be a 